All right, here we go again. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try, 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 try again. Okay, so what have I done differently? I've got like a legitimate arborist throw kit here. I've got this basket that prevents the line from getting tangled. I have an actual arborist throw line. And it comes with a, uh, a throw bag, but I'm not using a throw bag on the first try. Uh, I've put like a wire clip um, on the end of this. I don't know if you can see it. And, uh, you know, got the rope tied to it, the string. And this is an aluminum arrow, which is much stronger. And not that this string is going to cause too much friction, but uh, we're going to give this a shot again. And I just got to get it up over that branch. Warmed up a little bit. All right. Ah, didn't make it. Oh man, that was close. It hit a branch and diverted. Oh. All right, here we go. Third time's a charm, right? Oh my gosh, it was so close. So third time is not a charm. Here we go, fourth attempt. It's going the same place every time. It's getting caught on things. Ugh. Oh my gosh, I hit the branch. I literally hit the branch I'm trying to shoot it over. Making it do that. All right, aluminum arrow, throw bag on the end. Let's see if we can't get it over that tree limb. Nope. Broke the arrow. So even an aluminum arrow isn't strong enough with that much weight. See that? Can you see it? Can you see that? Bent, bent, broken. Didn't work. All right, you guys still watching? Still watching, okay. What am I going to do now? I'm going to take the throw line and I'm going to throw it. I'm not good at this. I'm not an arborist. So I don't know if I'll be able to throw it that high. I couldn't do it with the other rope, but let's just try it. Guess what happened? It went right over the branch, just like that. <laughs> Oh, now I gotta get my tow line and I can pull that sucker out. Wow. Sometimes you think you have a good idea, but you know what? Let's not try and reinvent the wheel here. This has been done. Yeah. Oh, hey, I'm learning. Okay, so basically now all I have to do is take my throw line and hook it to my tow line. You know, sometimes things are just it's the way they are. It's just to do the way it's supposed to be done. Look at that. Pull it right on up. All right, moment of truth. Get that up through there. There it goes, yes. Look at that. All right, now it's got to get out of those branches. Somehow, there we go. And the more I pull it down, the more weight it has. This is a very cool system. It's like somebody put thought into it. I just shake that enough, I can get that to come down. Get a little slack. Little by little. Come on now. Come on. Almost there. Yeah. 
right. So now is the simple part. Just gonna connect this to itself and that'll cinch back up on that branch. Oh, and this thing, this is so cool. Let me show you something. So you just step on the corner of it and you fold it down like that. It holds your rope so it doesn't get tangled. And then, where's the strap? You fold it in half again. And there it is. <laughs> I love it. Put that off to the side, all done with it. Yeah, so now I'm just gonna take this rope I'm gonna pull it straight back up. It will cinch around a branch. Perfect. I'll pull this out, probably that direction, and uh, hook it to the tractor and pull the branch down. Unfortunately, I can't show you that right now because it's too muddy. I will not get anywhere with the tractor. It would just spin. That's just the week we've had. It is uh, Northeast Ohio and we have mud season. We have, we have winter, you just can't pick up its mind. Anyway, hey, I wanna say something about this whole rigmarole. Sometimes on my channel, you're gonna see stuff like this. I'm gonna have crazy ideas. I'm gonna look for your input. We're gonna put our heads together. Uh, a lot of people suggested using a, a fishing rod and casting a line over that. You know, it's a great idea if you're really good with a fishing rod, but I'm, I'm not much of a fisherman. I'm not really, uh, I don't trust myself with that. I'm a better archer. The problem with that is, Archery's just not, that's not the way to do it, <laughs> obviously. The arrow doesn't go straight. I mean, there's probably some way to get it to work, but you know what does work? The tried and true method of a throw bag on a throw line over the branch. It's just the way it should be done. I did see in some of my research that there is kind of like a, uh, a slingshot type device. It's a pole with a big slingshot on it that if the branch is really high, you can put the throw bag in that slingshot, pull it way back and it will fire it. So maybe down in the road in my future, I might get one of those and try it out. But uh, hey, I got a new archery set out of it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy it. I like shooting archery. <laughs> hey, let me know what you think. We finally got it done. Probably next video or the next one after that, whenever the ground freezes, or maybe August, <laughs> we'll pull this sucker out. But I'm just going to leave this, this tow line attached to it until the time comes. So appreciate you tuning in, and I will see you next time when I'm doing some more wacky wild stuff. Thanks.